So we've looked at bowling and we've looked at ground fielding and now we're going to look at catching. Okay, catching is a really important part of cricket. This is a, probably this is the thing that wins us matches when we play cricket. So we're going to go through our base and what we do with the lower half of our body and then we'll focus on our upper half of the body exactly like we did with our bowling. So our base, nice and simple. You want your feet shoulder width apart, nice strong base. You don't want it too wide because you can't move as easy and you don't want it too short because then you'll be falling over. So, shoulder width apart, nice and strong base. If you want to go slightly wider, you can, but just so you're nice and feel comfortable. Legs just bent a bit, so if you see my leg just bent, not too much, but just slightly, so I'm ready to either go down or up, whichever way the ball comes towards me, okay? With our lower half of body, this is really important now. Our hands pointing down, so our, both our hands, we're facing down, our fingers point down, making sure our surface area is really wide so we can move with the ball and our hands can move and then we can take, as the ball hits our hands, we can grasp that ball and bring it into our body, okay? So as the, as the ball takes your hand, you grasp it, you bring it into your body. And then the final bit, which is another really important bit, our head is our eyes need to be following that ball all the way in, all the way into our hands, looking at it even when we've got our, when we've got it, really making, training our eyes to follow that. Uh, so we've got Mr. Richards joining us as well. We're going to do a little drill on our catching, right? I really want us to focus on our base and our hands, but the main thing you want to be doing is really training your eyes to follow that ball into the So just, you can just be not too far away where you're comfortable and then you're just going to gentle underarm throw to your partner and they're going to catch it, following that ball all the way into our hands. Okay, so following that ball all the way into our hands, really looking at it really closely, okay? Once you've done this a little bit, you can possibly throw it slightly to the side, get your partner moving across, practicing moving and following that ball, getting their hands to move towards the ball, okay? Okay, so now we've got our super, super hard challenge. Um, this one is going to really make you concentrate and make you really focus on watching that ball because it's going to be a bit of a reaction one. You're not going to see the ball and all of a sudden it's going to come out. So you've really got to be on your toes. You've got to be ready with a nice wide base, really keeping your eyes focused on trying to see that ball. So if you've got your partner, they're going to face the wall. Um, and now either a parent or brother or sister or someone that you're working with, they're going to be behind the person who's catching. And all we're going to do is the person who's throwing the ball, who's feeding the ball, is going to feed it against the wall. And the person catching has got to be ready. Got to notice that ball, bounce off the wall, and then catch it. So give it back, and then you can go again. Now, if you want to start making it harder, you can start to change slightly behind that person, start to change where you're feeding the ball. Are you feeding it high? Are you feeding it low? Or are you feeding it to left and right? Okay? You can start to feed it maybe a bit lower and really get them moving across, okay? If you really want to try harder, you can go through the legs, 